Hello, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to learn about our send message feature. There are two ways to get started sending a message. Upon logging in, click the send message icon here. Or hover the mouse over the message tab, go down to send messages and click send message. You will then be brought to our send messages screen. To begin the process, simply enter the description of your message. You can look at the description as the title of your message, which is for your reference only. After you enter the description, the next section down is Send Message Via. In this section, you have two options, Normal Blast and Smart Blast. Normal Blast will send your message straight to the channels you select, such as text message, email, or Facebook. On the other hand, Smart Blast will send a single message across multiple channels until the recipient responds to that message. In this video, we will send our message using the Normal Blast via text message. Once you select how your message will be going out, the next section is Message Type. In this section, you will select what type of message is going out and who the message is going out to. For this video, we will use one-time message to distribution list or dynamic targets. Once the message type is selected, you will be given the option to select a template. This would be used if you already have templates created. The next section down is the Report Manager. This is not required, but if you would like an organized report of your messages, then selecting an existing or creating a new report would be ideal here. The last section to select before proceeding is the Send Time section. Here you can select Send Now or schedule the message to be sent out at a specific time by selecting Send Later. For this video, we'll go ahead and click Send Now. Once all of this is set, click Compose Message. After clicking Compose Message, you will be brought to a screen where you will compose the message you are trying to send out. Once again, you are given the option to select a pre-made template. If you don't have any templates created or don't need to use one, you can skip down to the text message section. Here is where you'll see your organization name along with an empty box for your message. There is a ticker for the amount of characters you have left to the top right of your message box. You can change your organization name in the small text box above by entering your text and clicking the refresh arrows located here. We recommend leaving this alone for consistent messaging. If you have a URL that you would like to use in this message, click here. Our URL shortener allows you to enter the URL without using as many characters as the original URL would. If you would like to personalize your message and you have information on your subscribers such as first or last name, click on this mail merge icon so you can address each recipient by name. If you have coupons generated, you can enter your coupon codes by using this icon. When sending out a message, you also have the option to send out an MMS. An MMS is considered a photo or video, or a long message that goes over the character count. To insert a photo or video, simply click this box here. Please note that any MMS will come from the shortcode 76000. Once you have entered the message you would like to send, the next step would be to select the recipients this message is going out to. Depending on what you have selected during description and modes, if you have selected one-time message to distribution lists, all of your distribution lists will be displayed for you to select. If you selected one-time message to individuals, there will be a search bar for you to find the individuals you are trying to send the messages out to. Select the distribution list on the left that you would like to send the message to. Click the right arrow in the middle to bring the distribution list over to the right. Once you have your distribution list under the selected section, you can proceed to the next section of applying filters. Applying filters is not a required section, but if there are specific criteria that you would like to apply to a distribution list, for example, contacts that were imported after a certain date, then you would apply the filter accordingly. Finally, we have preview and send. On this page, you have a summary of what message is going out, who it's going out to, how many credits it will cost, and a preview of the text message that the recipient will receive. Once everything looks good to go, Agree to the terms of use and click send. This concludes our send messages tutorial video. Thanks for watching.